Welcome to another exciting episode of I'm Tired of Being Right All the Time. My name is Johnny Wright. Welcome. Thank you so much for popping in. Today, I'm right about recruiting. <laughs> Johnny, it's so hard to find good people in the world. I'm getting so upset. I play the piano wrong like this. I understand your frustration. Feel your pain, G. G. Yeah, feel it. We recruit for our clients across the country. We do a lot of other things for them. We have a full-time recruiter, R.W. Smith, who's absolutely lovely. We post ads that have been written for every position, monitor incoming resumes, do first-round interviews, check online reputation, go to their Facebook page, look for the three Bs. If the applicant is holding a baby, a beer, and a bong, they don't get an interview. Cuts to judgment. Do they have good judgment? All those things. We use Craigslist like you do and Indeed and Career Builder and Monster and Monster Career Builder and the the, the, the person who was really nice to us at the sandwich shop last week. Hmm. Maybe they could be our next attorney. We're desperate, right? The unemployment is 0.000. I I don't think it can get any lower. Everybody apparently is working. So if you have an opening at any position inside your company, it's tough. You throw resources, time, money, all of it. Twelve years ago, uh, when I posted a recruitment ad for an auto repair shop client of ours, I remember getting 127 resumes. 127 people applied. It was overwhelming. I remember scheduling those interviews. Today, same ad, same position. If I posted, I'd maybe get three applicants. And, and you know, like two of them would be my great-grandma who felt bad. I feel bad you're not getting any applicants. So, you know, grandma, we, we, we're, we're good. You, don't, you can stop applying at all the positions. So what is the real problem here? What is the core issue? We call it root cause analysis, the five whys. We drill down, we ask ourselves, really, is the landscape changed that much in terms of people out there in the seeking work? There's many more platforms and portals to reach out to them than there have ever been. There's still the old traditional newspaper for smaller communities, still works. What is it then? What's the real reason, the core reason? Well, this is what it is, what we believe in. It's this simple idea. If you're going to find the best talent, have you created the best company? In other words, you know, you, you don't go on a date without flossing. And you would know what the results are. They're very bad. Been there, done that. Forgot my floss. What is your culture? What is your culture? Is this your culture? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Happy culture, happy employees. Are you cultivating the best and the brightest? Or are you getting the worst and the dumbest? That's on you, business owner. It's on me as business owners. That's not blaming the people applying. That's accepting responsibility and taking action for building a better company from the inside out. Great cultures matter. Powerful cultures will recruit for you. The word will get out. It will resonate. When is the last time one of your employees sang your praises as an owner, as a leader, as a manager, told other people, God, this is just such a great place to work. You got to come here. Yeah, Apple is a company that has created a tremendous culture. And so it resonates beyond the marketing. And by the way, um, recruiting is marketing. Don't fool yourself. It's, It's really marketing first. And oh, by the way, let's go find superstars. You're looking for studs, you're finding duds, and it may be all about you inside your building. So how do you change that? What do you need to do? Well, first of all, you have to understand the importance of it. Wall Street Journal Article from November 2018 spoke to the importance of culture. Happy employees, more efficient, more proficient, more longevity. They stay longer. This is a big deal. It's such a big deal that we believe in it. We do. We practice it and preach it here at the Biosphere. This is our business card. I ain't a kidding. There's the business part on the other side. But we believe in the power of happiness, the power of, but the um, power of people being fulfilled. It matters. We've all got baggage. We've all got issues. We all have challenges. We all have kryptonite to our superhero powers. Are you a company that allows people to work through those things? It supports them. 
Are you proactive? Are you out in front? Are you doing weekly meetings? And there's a way to do a great meeting. We've got best practices for that. Are you critiquing without being critical? There's a way to do that. There's a way to build people up, opportunities for growth. Are you coming at them like a manager or a leader? Managers make demands. Why aren't you doing that? Or why ain't you doing this? I thought I told you to do that thing. Versus leaders who ask questions. Tell me about your process. Tell me about what you're doing. Let's work on building a bigger, better thing together. Collaborative versus punitive. Is it being done with us or to us? Those are answers to questions that you have to ask yourself as an owner. Build the culture from the inside out and stop blaming the things outside of your control. Be the change you want to see in the world. Mother Teresa said it. Be the company everybody wants to work for and you'll never recruit a day of your life. My name is Johnny Wright. I really appreciate you watching today's video. If you'd like to see other videos, you can go to my YouTube channel, which is I'm Tired of Being Right All the Time with a W. You can check me out on LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever fine social media products are sold. Until next time with more tips and tricks to build a better culture, build a better workplace, and be more fulfilled. I'm tired of being right all the time. Yeah, buddy.